Hello everyone on uh, I think the first balmy spring evening so far in September I've actually had to take off my jacket it's, uh, and scarf <laughs> I wasn't sure what to expect um, but it's actually quite balmy so I just wanted to share my experience of uh, battling the online uh, pre-sale the first pre-sale of Kylie for her attention tour um, today being uh, blank what is it today being Monday the something of September anyway it, uh, the the second the second last Monday of September I tried I tried I had to get five tickets for her second show on Friday the 21st of February but not for myself <laughs> why um, I've already got tickets for OMD orchestra maneuvers in the dark coincidentally both their Melbourne shows are the same as Kylie's dates so those that are big OMD fans and Kylie fans, I hope you manage to juggle that. <laughs> so I'm going to, uh, the, the twin, on the 21st of February, I've already got an OMD ticket, so I can't go to Kylie that day. But the rest of my friends, Friday suited them better. So I was willing to try getting, uh, getting tickets for them. But not enough allocation in my basket for, for five. So I ended up just getting one ticket for the first show, which is on the 20th of February, which I, that is also OMD. Luckily, I didn't splurge on OMD and decide to go to both, because otherwise, if I did, I'd have to sell one of the tickets, but it didn't come to that, luckily. So in February, uh, I don't believe it's the first concerts of 2025. There is something in J January. There is a concert in January, I just can't remember off the top of my head. Anyway, uh, so in February, we've got three concerts already. So we've got Brian Adams, I think he's on the 6th of February. Then on the 20th is Kylie, and on the 21st is OMD. So um, it's only the second time, the very second time that uh, I haven't been able to see Kylie with my friends as a group. The last one was uh, her golden tour. It just didn't work out because she uh, she chose to play at the Sydney My Music Hall. And those that know it, or th those that don't know it, it's not in Sydney. It's spelled S-I-D-N-E-Y. I presume after somebody with that surname or first name, in homage to them. Um, so it's not in Sydney. It's uh, sorry, I'm just at my car, <laughs> multitasking here. Um, yeah, it's uh, it's a semi open amphitheater that kind of design where it's got a, a cover but it's not fully sheltered from the elements so if it's massively windy or you know the wind was pushing the rain horizontally you would get wet still if you had a seat at the um, like an amphitheater basically in a park set in a park setting so that's why we didn't end up seeing golden together because again i had to get a similar number of tickets or so either three four or five and I wasn't able to get seats and we didn't want to compromise and get lawn we didn't want to be on the lawn um, because you know Kylie's not a very tall person so if you're sitting if you don't get seats and you're on the lawn way back when where um, you're going to be needing binoculars maybe to see her so I'm glad it's the Rod Laver Arena because come rain hail or shine it's a sheltered venue obviously known for its um, tennis tournaments and other sporting events but other concerts have been there and Kylie has I reckon the highest number of performances she's done in Melbourne has been at the Rod Laver Arena so I'm glad she's done so again so I've obviously let my friends know the results um, I've attempted it was a Telstra pre-sale today not sponsored uh, one of my phones is with Telstra so I tried the Telstra pre-sale app and by the time I got through the virtual queue and it was my turn, I pressed the reserve A button for five tickets and it said you don't have enough uh, allocation for your basket, please choose another tier of tickets or another date. So then I chose um, yeah, the 20th of February instead to get a ticket only for myself. That's the way the cookie rumbles. I hope my friends end up getting a ticket for Kylie. There's still at least two pre-sales coming up. I mean, at an extreme, they could see her in a different state. I don't think they will. 
although because of that golden tour that debacle <laughs> I ended up seeing her in Sydney the golden tour and so did another friend of mine saw her in Sydney in a different part of Sydney in the kind of winery area um, Hunter Valley I think it was and I saw her in the Dar Darling Harbour inside the um, you know downtown Sydney so it struck again well it, it is for my case it is because of OMD I have already booked that ticket for next year um, hopefully it might make hopefully it makes a difference a big difference that now my colleagues my sorry my colleagues my friends only need to buy five tickets and not six if uh, if nothing was interfering with my plans next year I would be among six people going to Kylie or wanting to go to Kylie but now that I've got my ticket um, my friends uh, remaining that haven't got tickets yet will only need to attempt to get five instead of six I know that's still a lot and I just tried to get five today and I wasn't su successful but it doesn't mean sorry about the loud car there it doesn't mean that they won't be successful hopefully you know they will be successful fingers crossed so yeah if you're coming to Kylie next year for attention tour on Thursday the 20th of February I'll see you then and then I'll also see you the next night on Friday the 21st of February at the Palais Theatre in Secure for OMD and the 6th of February for Brian Adams uh, at Rod Laver Arena also. Bye for now and uh, keep persisting if you haven't got your Kylie tickets um, yeah as they say you got to be in it to win it so keep trying have Although they say not to have multiple devices open, have your friends try to get tickets as well. Make it a ticket party <laughs> and get and take advantage of all those pre-sales. Good luck. Ba-dum-ba-dum. -ba